All right, I went shopping. I went to uh, Dutchman's Creek and I picked up a couple things because I want to make a drum rig, a black drum, red drum rig, specifically for crab. So I went to Dutchman's Creek and I got some things. First, I got <laughs> two double drop, triple drop rigs. I like these because they have three places for hooks. So that has nothing to do with it. Put those on the side. All right, let's see what I got here. For starters, I got some, well, these are uh, three out circle hooks. Um, they're bigger than the one one out circle hooks I've been using to catch a drum if you watch the last couple of videos. But they're smaller than the ones I use, the five out hooks I use for small sharks and bluefish. So we got that. We got ourselves some barrel swivels. So we're going to tie our rig together with. We got some mono, so I can have a mono leader, 15 pound test mono leader, one something light. And last but not least, I picked up some weights. Uh, these are just three ounces because I'm going to be over in Davis Canal and don't think I'm going to need anything bigger than that. But I have some fours downstairs if I decide to go on the surf. So we're going to put together a rig and then we're going to go fishing. Let's go. So step one is to catch some crabs. So we had to get in our pimped up kayak and get out in the Davis Canal and, and catch some crab, some bait so we can put in the crab trap. So I just wanted to catch some fish. You know, pinfish would be fine, but really what I wanted to do was catch something um, a little bigger, like something that I could eat, as well as use the heads in the crab trap. So I just went out with some shrimp on my little pink rod and out in Davis Canal. It was kind of a nice day. It was really windy though. Um, the storm was a coming and just casting it out there. And the first fish I catch is going to be a pinfish. Now what's funny about that and why I show this is because if you watch the other video where I was trying to catch pinfish, I couldn't catch any. I was trying to catch pinfish and I couldn't catch any. And here I am first cast and here's a pinfish. So I let him go. I wanted something bigger. And then I caught what I caught in the other video as well, which was a silver perch. Now I would have kept the silver perch and eaten it if it was a little bigger, but this one was kind of small. So I kind of decided to let him go. I fished around a little bit more, caught more pinfish, caught more silver perch, nothing really impressive. And then the sun was going down um, and I finally got, I got into a nice spot and I was real happy with this. I was like, man, I wish I could catch a couple more of these and have a fish fry. But I ended up taking him home and I put his head in the crab trap and I have his body in the refrigerator and I'll probably make some fish dip out of him. So we put the head in the crab trap and gave it a day and pulled up the crab trap and we got a couple of crabs in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them out of the crab trap and they're going to be real angry and that's fine. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to take a big knife here and we're going to get off their claws so they don't pinch me and they're not happy about that. And basically this is a male. You can tell because the, the little part on the bottom, the flappy part is skinny. So I don't mind uh, taking out a male. If it was a female, I would let it go. And I put it in half, uh, take off the, sh the top shell, throw that away, and then I quarter it. And I'm eventually going to go and I'm going to take off the legs too. But for right now, I'm just getting it ready to go back out in the kayak. So I'm just I'm going to kind of cut them in half. Now, this makes great bait for black drum, red drum. Um, and, I've, and I've caught them on this before. And, and I made this rig. And I'll show you the rig. Real simple. Just a three-odd hook like I showed in the beginning. Oh, I let this crab go. I had like three in the pot. And I was like, I don't need that many. So he was um, not happy, but happy to be gone, I'm sure. Anyway, simple rig. A three-odd hook. Uh, just a Carolina rig. Um, here I am paddling out. I'm going to go find a good spot. Now, this is Veterans Day, and I was fishing between the raindrops. It, it rained in certain parts of the day, and I just had, I kind of went out twice. I came home and I went back out again. So I got the crab. Now, I went to break off the legs. So I just have um, basically a piece of the meat without the top shell, and I'm going to take that three out hook, and I'm just going to stick it right through what they call the knuckle on the crab, just basically where the leg is, and stick it through to the meat part and toss that out there. And if there's a black drum or a red drum, they're going to come gobble it up. Unfortunately, that did not happen. <laughs> what happened was all those pinfish I kept catching, well, they turns out they like crab too. So um, I cast it out and then when I'd reel it back in, all I would have basically was, as you can see here, a piece of shell <laughs> and that meat had been picked clean. So I went through that crab really, really quick, <laughs> which was very disappointing. So I had to rely on the old standby just to get some fish for the rest of the day, the Baitmaster shrimp, which I got at Publix. And so I got back the pink rod back out with the triple drop rig, and I'm just going to throw some shrimp and just see if I can get lucky and catch a fish while I'm out here fishing between the raindrops. So funny thing is, I caught a fish right away. And guess what? In the same water, deja vu, I got a pinfish. I can't get away from these things unless, of course, I'm fishing for them, in which case I can't seem to catch them at all. So I, I baited the hook back up, cast it out again, got another fish right away, and again, deja vu in the same order, 
I got a silver perch and it was also very small. So this kind of went on and on and on. Pinfish, silver perch, pinfish, silver perch. And then I actually got into um, a couple of these. Maybe it was a little school of them, I don't know. Um, but it's a pigfish. I'm gonna pull it up here and show it to you. And I'll eat pigfish, again, if they're a good size. These, these are, pigfish don't get that big to begin with, but um, you can hear them, they like, they, they're like croaker. They make noises like oink, 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 like a pig. And they have you know, interesting markings on them. You can tell the difference between those and the other fish. And then I was just kind of sitting there, and I'm telling you, watch that. I got a hit. Now, I'm telling you, I got a hit, and I started reeling it in. And I was reeling it in at first, and it was tugging, and all of a sudden it went flat, and it just got heavy. And I'm like, what is going on? Now it just feels like I got like a puffer on or something like that, just this heavy dead weight. And I, and I wasn't sure what was going on, because I definitely, you could see I, the fish hit, <laughs> hit it, right? I'm not crazy. Um, so I reel it in, and I got myself a, a nice oyster shell isn't that nice so um, I wanted to measure it and make sure it was in slot but it was a little short so I knew I had to release it so I let it go back into Davis canal and I will tell you it swam off strong so there's a good thing there all right it started raining I went to my last spot I'm like I gotta get out of here and I got a hit and I was like this is a big fish this isn't a pinfish this isn't a silver perch this is something nice and as it came closer I could see it and I thought maybe this is a is this a small puppy drum or maybe it's a whiting and then I got it up into the kayak and I was like this is a croaker and I'm like oh my gosh this is the biggest if not the biggest croaker I've ever caught in Davis canal and I'm like you know, usually I catch them, they're like six inches, eight inches. I'm like, let me get out my measuring stick here. And I'm telling you, this thing was a full foot long. I'm like, that is a nice size croaker. So I put him in the basket and between him and the spot, I got, I got a fish fry coming up. Now, I know that crab trick is going to work. So you get out and try it. Maybe you'll have better luck catching some red or black drum. I'm telling you, I might try it again. It's going to work. But for now, we got a nice croaker out of the canal. All right, let's go fishing.